Blue Jackets closing out their season series with the Florida Panthers here tonight. They're coming into this game after a big come-from-behind win in Philadelphia on Monday. Jody, it was the second straight game that the Blue Jackets had the early lead and lost that lead. However, they came back this time, tied the game late in the second period. Zach Wierenski with a great goal to do that. And then eventually in the third, Brandon Dubinsky with a power play goal. Broke the tie. They go on to win 5-3. to three, And that was a big psychological win. It was, Bob. And you look at the Blue Jackets in the regular season, there's been some good tests. The night before in Buffalo, the Blue Jackets didn't, the luck didn't go that way, we'll say. Uh, but in Philadelphia, they found a way. You could see the confidence there at Wells Fargo Arena for the Columbus Blue Jackets. They got the job done. Cam Atkinson had two goals in that game, including the empty netter. That has him at 32 for the year. And he says ever since he hit the number 30, he's relaxed a lot more. I guess you could say that, uh, you know, you, you get stuck at 19 or, or 9 or 29 or whatever it is. And you might start gripping the stick a little tight just thinking about, okay, if I get, you know, the next one, it's pretty special. But uh, it was obviously nice to get the uh, the empty netter to kind of, you know, let my nerves settle down. And now you can just get back to playing. Confidence. Look at Cam Atkinson and what it does for a player. He's really feeling it this year, Bob. He's got the skill, he's got the speed, and he's got the goals. And the Blue Jackets are going to have fun watching him build on that total for the remaining of the regular season and into the playoffs. Last Saturday, when Ryan Murray got hit with a puck in the hand and broke his hand, and it was found out he would be out for four to six weeks, it could have been devastating for the Blue Jackets' defense. However, on trade deadline day, they picked up Kyle Quincy, a veteran from the New Jersey Devils. Quincy's in there on a regular basis, and he says he's feeling acclimated. Yeah, yeah, feeling good. Um, every game, every shift, uh, feeling more and more comfortable. So just uh, uh, just good to get in the games and uh, um, kind of continuing to get better every, every shift. The veteran presence of Kyle Quincy, huge pickup now. And you knew there was going to be some guys get banged up after the trade deadline. Smart play by the management here for the Columbus Blue Jackets. Nice to have the veteran in the room. Florida Panthers, a team that is fighting for their playoff lives right now. They've got to make up six points over the course of 14 games. Let's take a look at some of their key players, and we'll start on the back end at the blue line with Keith Yandel, who is serving up assists like he normally does. Then you've got the former Blue Jacket, Jonathan Marciso, who's having a career year. And on top of that, you've got the always steady veteran, Yaramir Yager. Yager. 45 years old, still playing in the National Hockey League, drafted in 1990. Think about that, to the Pittsburgh Penguins, and he's still doing it. Yager is a guy that's getting it done on the ice. He averages over 17 minutes a night, so not just out there. He has an impact. The Blue Jackets got to watch out for him in the offensive zone. Marcia So, the most games he's ever played is about 47 in the league in one season. He's over that now. He's at 61, and he's smashing it with his 22nd goal on the season the other night. And then Yandel, you mentioned, first year as a Panther, came over from Phoenix. He's an offensive defenseman. He will be up in the play all night. The Blue Jackets have got to keep their head on the swivel when Yandel's on the ice. Blue Jackets have played the Panthers two times this year. They've lost both times, once in regulation and once in overtime. This is an important game for both teams. You're right, Bob. But... Hopefully they'll have a little luck of the Irish on their side. Woo! Snazzy yeah. tie. All right. Thank you very much. I hope he's right. <laughs> that would be not a first, but anyway. That'll do it for the Rink Report. For Jody Shelley, I'm Bob McElligot. Enjoy the game.